Hey, babes. Hello, hello, hello. Happy day. So it is like 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, the baby's behind me, as you hear. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about a few things in this video. Um, first and foremost, thank you, oh my God, for all the happy birthday wishes. Um, my little thumb was getting <laughs> sore pressing all the hearts to say thank you back. Um, so I really appreciate that. I had a really good day yesterday. I didn't do nothing too special. I... <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I um I went to Walmart and I bought some dirt. That's what I got for my birthday. I wanted dirt for my my garden that I'm starting. I have so much growing within my house. Yes, baby. <laughs> um and and I'm not ready to move the stuff outside. Um but I needed dirt. So anyways, that's what I got for my birthday. That's what I wanted. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about Nicola. I know I'm saying her name wrong. Nicola? Nicola? I don't know. Um, I'm used to the name Nicole, so that's why I say Nicola. But I think it's like Nicola. Not 100% sure how to say her name. It's no disrespect intended. Um, so, I did a card reading for her. And what the card reading let me know was that there was a lot of troubles in the home. Um, a lot. Like, can, can we say narcissist? Okay. Um, and then while I was doing the premiere of that, because I didn't know anything about the case, all I knew was her name. Um, I saw in the, the live chat for the premiere that um, she was near water right and in the reading it did show me like there was a move like something happened and then there was another place right so then I'm like at the end of it I don't know <clears throat> if it caught it or not but I saw somebody say that she was near the water and I was like oh they'll find her there in the water but I heard so basically, this is what I heard. That there was a cell phone, let's say, here, at a bench or something like that, right? And a dog collar chain leash, right? Here. And everybody was looking downstream. Well, I was taking pictures. Like, I started, like, looking her up after that video. And, like, just to get an air, like, to see the area of where she was. And... I'm looking at this water like, um, guys, I see rocks sticking out the water. Like, how there was no movement to the water. There was no current. There was no current. So nothing's being drugged through no water, um, especially a body. It, it was just not deep enough for that to happen, nor was there any currency to pull the body down the water. But then I heard, correct me if I'm wrong, um, nicely, that she was a mile upstream and she wasn't even really technically in the water she was in like the reefs of it the, the bushes the, the the garbage collection of, of sticks and stuff and i'm like okay now i haven't done a channeling session but my little spidey senses said do 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 hello you know so why would she put her phone down and walk great job a mile away from her phone and didn't somebody in my comment section say that she was still logged into a zoom call so who's in a zoom call puts their phone down and just decides oh let me walk a mile away now did the doggy run away i highly doubt that because i also heard that somebody says you know they always took this path you know and they always brought their dog there so no i don't feel the dog ran away and she was chasing after the dog oh my god doggy come back come back i don't feel that happen I don't feel like she would have slipped in and drowned because literally there was no currency, no current, I'm sorry, and there was no, um, it wasn't deep. It was, is it possible she could have drowned? Yes. But let me explain something. Um, when I was about 10 years old, we used to have a family reunion and at the family, I don't know why they keep calling that a river, number one, because that's more like a creek. 
for the United States. We would call that a creek, right? Um, we, we had a creek, and it was raining at, at the uh, family reunion. I'm 10 years old. I'm 4'11 at my age now, fully grown. Um, so I was probably <laughs> like three feet back then, you know. Um, and it was pouring down rain, and we jumped in the creek. I mean full-blown, like the water was over the banks, and we were just, whoo, going down the creek, you know. And I'm like, now that I'm looking back at it, I'm like, damn, our parents really let us do that? Like, that's absurd. But anyways, <laughs> I don't know if they, exa they knew what we were doing. Trust me, they knew. Um, <laughs> but we were in rapid waters with a very strong current. And we were okay. We were 10 years old. I was 10 years old doing that. It was fun. It was really fun. But um, dangerous now that I'm looking back and I got my own kids, you know? So, my thing is, <clears throat> did she slip and hit her head on a rock? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. I don't see how you... I just don't see that happening. Okay, so I do want to do a channeling session. I wish I would have did all this sooner. Um, but it is what it is, you know? So, yeah. I just don't feel like this happened by itself. I feel like there was a lot of turmoil in, within that home. I feel horrible for Nicola. I think that's her name. I think I said it right that time. I think that's, yeah. Okay, so I feel terribly horrible that the fact that their boyfriend, husband, I don't know what he is. Oh, one second. Hold on one second. Okay, so the fact that it's, it was immediately put out there that she... Was it alcoholic because of menopause? Like, really? You just gonna blame it on menopause? She's an alcoholic because she get hot flashes? What? Can we make this make sense, please? Because that don't make sense. That sounds like a narcissist. Okay. Oh, it was this. She was this. She did that. She did this. It's all her fault. She shouldn't have been doing this. That sounds crazy. It really does. Um, now, on another note, not Nicola. I did a, let me look it up, a, a 2023 world's reading. And I don't usually do those with the ITC. Trying to look it up now. Mm -hmm. I did it a month ago. Okay. And within this reading, um, at the ending, it mentions Pleiadians, which are aliens. It also mentioned war. Okay, for 2023, um, mentioned a few things, okay? Now, last week, the president, whatever you want to call him, the grandpa nobody wanted, yeah, him, um, trying to say, oh, you know, we think it's visitors, and we shot it down, and wait a minute, hold up, pause. So you just shoot down visitors because they're in your airspace? Did you try to communicate and say, hey, can you land? You're in our airspace. We got planes flying around. Did you do any of that? No. No, you didn't. I call BS. I do not feel that this is, um, how do you say, aliens. Oops, hold on. That was weird. I do not believe that this is aliens because my thing is this. Aliens have been here for a very long time. Okay? Now, all of a sudden, that the United States is in some serious, big-ass trouble, 
okay? Being accused of genocide, okay? Now, oh, guys, we got aliens we're shooting down. Really? Y'all been shooting aliens down since 1950s, 1940s. And now it's, now it's something you want to make public? Shut the F up. Shut up. We don't believe you. Because they're already here. Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a distraction of what? Of their criminal action. Do you know we are at war right now? Do you know those trains? All that going on? Yeah. This is called a silent war. Oh, it's not silent because people are dying. Okay? But it's silent because they're not telling you what's really going on. The whole from Ohio down with that river, me, right here in the middle of that, right? Boop. Right? All the way over. People about to die. I'm trying to let you know this. Prepare your hearts now. That, that warms my heart so much. You have no idea. Huh? A lot of people are about to pass. And it's not China. It's not Russia. It's not Japan. It's here. It's here. It's our people. Why? Because all these other countries took the U.S. to court and found them guilty of genocide. So what do we have to do? Oh, my God, the aliens are here. No, bitch, we've been here. We've been here many years. This is nothing new. And what they're shooting down is not... The Pleiadians, okay? It's not the Octorians. It's not the... Dr whatever the hell. All oh, the species of them. It's not them. You can't bathe in the water. You can't drink the water. You can't even distill the water because vinyl chloride attaches to the water. It is the water. It becomes the water. A lot of people are about to die. It's time for us to go back. The cancer within the next couple of months is going to be historical. It's so disgusting. I wish I could just get off of this land and find utopia because, first of all, A government is supposed to know nothing about you. You are supposed to know everything about the government. And slowly but surely, they flip-flop that over and around and around and around. And as long as you keep consenting, yeah, use my phone history. Yeah, you know, let me know this and I'll give you access to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know everything now. They're tracking us and we're okay with it. Yeah, great job, government. Yeah, we're okay with this. You know why we're okay with this? Because nobody's standing up. And that's how I know everybody's okay with this. Nobody's speaking now. Every, the people that are speaking now, it's just speaking. Nobody's a whole. Nobody's united. And that's why they're winning. Yes, good always wins. But not always how we think. It makes me sad. It makes me sad that we are being poisoned in every which way you could possibly think. And even the ways we don't even think of. It is disgusting to me. It is unhumane. Like. It's. The United States is the biggest narcissist I've ever met. I've met a few narcissists, and I know how to point a narcissist out. I survived a narcissist that tried to kill me. And the United States is the biggest narcissistic fucker I've ever met. Okay? 
I pray for every last one of you. Every last, even the ones that can't stand me, I pray for you because that's who I'm here for. I'm here for the ones that don't like me, that don't want to hear it, that don't want to accept it. That's why I'm here. I don't need to level up. I'm already leveled. I'm here to help you level up. It has nothing to do with me. I pray for you. I pray for all of you. Shit about to get real. Real scary, real quick. I do see a war on the United States land. I do. Don't know when. But I see it. I feel it in my bones. Oh, I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my soul. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Put your comments down below and we'll go from there, okay? So, let me know if you want an ITC for Nicola. Nicola? Oh, is it called her Nicola? I'm sorry. <laughs> Nicola? Nic Nicola? Yeah. Let me know. Um, I don't know. I'm just really heartbroken. I'm so heartbroken over all of this. I love you, babes. I do. Anyways, I had a really good day yesterday. Um, I didn't want to do nothing too special or anything like that. I just wanted to get some dirt <laughs> for my plants. I got, um... A couple mango seeds growing. My first time I ever got it to actually grow a little tree part. So that's amazing. I got pomegranate growing. Awesome. Got ginger growing. Lemon tree. Opal apple seeds growing. I just planted a whole bunch of stuff. Um, that's like I'm sowing the seeds. <laughs> um, some of this stuff is going to go in the, the hydroponics. I might bring the hydroponic system inside the house while it's still cold out. Um, what else I got growing over there? I think that's really it. I can't see. I did pick up an orchid, a new orchid for my birthday. I love orchids. So that's my favorite flower. Um, so, yeah, and I got Kit Kat um, a bubble machine. I don't want to say it out loud because she was so obsessed with it yesterday. And then I also got her a little gardening um, smock or whatever you call it with the little pail and the little tools so that she could help me. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I didn't really do anything. My hubby cooked my favorite meal. Oh, it was so good. Um, and I went to bed like at 930. I was so tired. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed your happy birthday wishes i enjoyed my day i actually wanted to do like live readings for you guys on my birthday but by the time we got home i was so exhausted i was just like babe i want to go to bed now i'm so tired <laughs> he was just laughing at me so i went to bed super early and i woke up at five o'clock so i've been up since five like seven seven thirty ish now but yeah let me let me know what your thoughts are um, I believe the train derailments are intentional from our own people. Um, I don't feel like this has anything to do with any other country but our own, like usual, just like 9-11, okay? Um, and everything else you could think of, it's all, uh, it's all a mess. It's all a mess. And I don't even understand, like, why, why haven't we kicked these people out of, of control? Like, what are we waiting for? Till we're all dead? And then we want to do something? I'm confused. How does that work? Hmm. Okay. I love you, babes. <laughs>